All right, here we go. This one is going to be a 40 Smith & Wesson test. Um, I have tried this one in the past, but I actually got a request um, to see how it performed out of a short barrel. So we're going to try it today. And it is the Herders 180 grain jacketed hollow point. That's what this one looks like. It's basically just your standard Winchester white box. Um, so kind of a budget friendly round. Comes out of the same factory and everything. Um, they do sell it at Bass Pro. So it is a little bit cheaper, but uh, we're gonna see how it does out this Glock 27. So we got five jugs lined up with four layers of cotton t-shirt. I guess four and a half. The last one is about halfway empty. Um, but this is all the jugs we had left and we figured we'd try it out. So we'll send a few over the chronograph, see what kind of numbers we get, and then we'll send it through these jugs. Here we go. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we can get. First shot, 988. Second shot, 977. And third shot, 960. So let's see what kind of average we got on that. So we got a low of 960.9, a high of 988, and our average was 975.5. So we'll put energy foot pounds up so you guys can get an idea what that thing is doing. We're going to send it through these jugs. Here we go. All right, we are sending back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So our cotton t-shirt did blow back over by us. And we do have our entry hole. And we do have our exit hole. So that is our four layers. We actually have a pedal sitting right here on the table, so we'll put that aside for now. And we'll check this first jug out. So looks like we got a nice center shot on that thing. And blew this jug in half. That is a lot of power, a lot of energy dump here on this first one, split it all over the place, but it's looking really good, blew the handle out all crazy, huge split on the back, and there is our exit, so that is jug number one, we got jug number two here on the ground, let's see where we came in, looks like we came in right here. Pretty big entry hole, split out the whole side once again, split out the circle, and we do have our exit hole. So that is jug number two. Then we got jug number three. Looks like it's moving just a little bit left now, just kind of pushed in. And we do have an exit, pretty good size split right there. So that is jug number three. And it sounds like we caught it here in this fourth jug, so it is moving left once again. Nice big split, but no exit. Definitely looked like it tried, but was not able to make it. So we're going to pull this thing out and see what it looks like. All right, check that thing out. We actually got some really good performance out of this thing. Um, I have tested the regular Winchester white box out of that short barrel and did great. And this one did just the same. Really good mushrooming, nasty peel back on those pedals. 
Um, we lost one pedal. There might have been more, but um, I didn't see them or wasn't able to find them anywhere else. But that is looking really good. Pretty big round. But did the trick. Really good performance out of that barrel. I think it's 3.42 inch out of that Glock 27. So there we go. That is Herder's 180 grain jacketed hollow point. Made it through four jugs.